On today's episode, I talk about crime and something I'm trying to do, I don't know, to get rid of it. Who who knows? It's, but it's going to be a good time. We also give out some tremendous life advice because that's really what we are here to do. We're here to entertain you, but we're also here to fill your soul and help all of your problems, solve all your problems. We close down the episode by drafting companies. We would love to get some free stuff from because, I mean, who doesn't want free stuff? Hey, tell your friends about the show right now and then enjoy the episode. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Ruff my gruff and give me all your stuff. Come on! Ruff my gruff? Hey, man. Wait, is that... is it, Ruff my gruff is... Is that the, like... That take a bite dog? out of crime. Yeah, the bite. What? Where did Ruff McGruff come from? <laughs> no, you've unlocked a whole new scat category, and it's the nostalgia scat, and I'm going to be turning to it soon. Very nice. Little rough, if you ask me, but not Look, too that's, bad. That's called the last second. Owl Borland reminds you that you're the one who is, in fact, up first, and you have the scat. And then I'm like, I I'd like to tie it into the draft, and... Then, as Jason uh, eloquently pointed out, you're like, oh, that's the guy, that's the dog, take a bite out of crime. It pointed out the irony of me shouting out Ruff McGruff and then saying, give me all of your stuff. Because, right. <laughs> because the police dog. He was supposed to stop. Uh, he, is, he is, in fact, stopping the yeah, give me crime. all your stuff. Either but, that or it was or, a real good cover. You know what I mean? Who's going to go loose? after Ruff McGruff? <laughs> Stealing all your stuff. There's look, there's dog fur everywhere in the jewelry store, and he's just like, "We'll never know. We'll never know." Uh, well, we DNA test this? Nope. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just <laughs> that, showed that up. That was his I, uh, voice. I've been shedding right now. <laughs> was that his <laughs> voice? Yeah. Uh, was, he was super gravelly. Oh, uh, take a bite out of crime. He's a heavy smoker. He didn't care about the. St he wasn't part of the anti-smoking campaign. He was only part of the anti-theft campaign. <laughs> When, Back then, smoking was cool. Was, was, don't as smoke, as, like, kids. Yeah, in between takes. Uh, Smokey right. the Bear. Why don't we have mascots for movements now? Like, why? Because they never that... worked. Nobody <laughs> listened to Rob McGrath. <laughs> That's true. That's Smokey true. Smokey the Bear? The bear. Mm -mm. What do you think? Of course, we you listen can to prevent forest fires. Yeah, we all remember what Smokey said. Yeah, he seemed and I cool. Do. I look, I don't start any forest fires because I, I just avoid the forest altogether. I think Smokey could definitely win a fight against Ruff McGruff, though. Hmm. Dude, right? oh, I don't know a, about a that. A bear? Yeah, well, dude, uh, okay. being a bear. And he seemed much more serious than Ruff McGruff. He didn't need a lot of words. Yeah, but Ruff McGruff's got that trench coat. Like, what's That's going on in there? And he's a, he's and he's a man sized dog. Is he packing? He's a man sized dog <laughs> who's a got. He's a detective. He's packing heat for sure. <laughs> really? Oh. At least at least three pieces. You think uh, Smokey uses some fire fire stuff? No, no he he's got like a shovel. Fire. He's anti fire. He's like, I'm guys. I don't really like. You <laughs> so know. He, he's got a shovel to like cover you with soot it, to put it out. He's like, only you could prevent forest fires, and then busts out a flamethrower. Like that's not yeah, that would happen. that wouldn't work. All right, <laughs> at Spitballer Spot on Twitter. Not that you'll want to follow us. Would you rather <laughs> life advice and a draft today? You never know how these shows are going to start. Uh, Al Borland's in the in the building. Al, how are you doing? Just happy to be here, Andy. I think Al <laughs> would like me to let people know that we're not doing a special new segment today, as promised, uh, because he wasn't prepared. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Al's fault. Um, we certainly need to blame him. He was like, "I promise, I'll have a new segment for you next week," mm -hmm. and then. He let us down big time. So he you said, me. if you're not yeah. ready, we'll go home and do remote recording for this one. I, I jumped on my guitar immediately as soon as he said that, and I made, sh I made sure that I get him the music clip on time. Oh, good job, Mike. No, I'm like, right away, lickety split. No reminders. I, I nailed it. First yeah. try. That's, uh, That's th all factual. Yeah. yeah. 100%. All right. Look, there's three of can... us. We can move on without <laughs> clarifying anything else. Do you want to hit that would you rather drop? Mm -hmm. 
Would you rather? I guess, oh, man. I, look, I know. Hold we on, all no, no, know no. Jeremy. We know him very well. He is. He's not on camera. He is fuming right now. <laughs> <laughs> His face has got to be so beat red. I just don't know why he likes remote recording so much. Um, <laughs> do you want to cl- clear the air at all, Al? Do you want to? You got? You want to say anything? Oh, he's gone. He's- <laughs> <laughs> I think the spitwads are smart enough to see the truth through the lies. I'm, I, I think the spitwads know who's the liar, liar on this show. Yeah, and it's, yeah. Well, uh, who's Al the master Borland. liar? Mm-hmm. 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 Boy who cried wolf situation right here, mm-hmm. don't we? Mm-hmm. Who, who to believe? <laughs> All right. Would you rather? Question from Alex. Would you rather have your kid be best friends with another kid, but you can't stand their parents? Oh no. Or you are best friends with the parents, but the kids oh, hate each no. other. <laughs> oh. Man, this is oh. a good question. Oh my gosh, this so is you're really more of a life and, advice. Yeah, so if you're you're forcing your kids, if you if you love these parents, you're friends with them, you're gonna want to hang out with them a lot. And every time you you're under the pretense of well, the kids can play together, mm-hmm. but the kids hate each other. Mm, yeah. Oh man, um, tell me the Jacksons aren't coming over tonight. <laughs> tell me the Jacksons aren't coming over. But they are. You get to see. Little little Jackson here. Oh, man. It's Jackson Jackson was his name. Um, I was going to say. Jackson uh, Jackson? Yeah. Um, well, now I know why you don't like him. Right. It's, like, who, uh, who names your kid Jackson Jackson? But wouldn't that be more a problem with the parents? Shouldn't it be like I shouldn't be friends with these people who would name yes. their oh, son 100%, Jackson yes. Jackson? Yeah, Jackson J. Jackson. Middle man, initial if, stands for Jackson. <laughs> if you can't stand the other kid's parents... Are you trying to like make sure that kid comes and plays at your house and not their house because you don't want the oh one one hundred percent you don't want so yeah how many excuses can you make to have the kids always play at your house oh how, in, how do I'm you sure pull that infinite. off all the time I, because I kids like always could, want to trade back and forth I could let my kids go to a to a, a parent's house that I hate because there's more than one reason to be like I don't like that parent it's not all like oh they're irresponsible and terrible maybe they're like super they're you just know, annoying yeah maybe they're annoying or maybe they're like they're drug you know, dealers over yeah like just over cautious and everything it'll be like okay i don't want to be around you but you'll keep my children safe because hmm. the thing is is i feel like if you're i i think i lean towards this direction and we'll work through this but i know that if my if my kids are friends with someone i can have them retain a friendship with barely knowing the parents i mean i have it now uh my daughter has a couple friends they come over for the day or she goes over to their place from time to time and i know the parents names and we have greetings at the doorway but doesn't concern you we've never had them oh well i mean i well they're the parents that the other parents hate right yeah we're the problem (laughs) (laughs) but i'm just saying like yeah no i get that I guess it depends on why you would actually not be able to stand them. And it just says can't stand them, which means they're not doing anything wrong. You just don't personally like them. And then the other situation, you love the parents. I feel like that's why they invented iPads. I mean, you can get together with these other parents. <laughs> the kids can just play on their iPads and life's okay. That's the way I'm going to go. Yeah, I I lean that direction. Because, I mean, like, got you guys. Uh, and then I have a, a, a couple of my – I'm still friends with some guys from high school. But it's like – Dude, being an adult, having friends is very difficult. Can you even make new friends? No, that's adult? what I mean. It's impossible. How there's do, no, there's no. Such I don't know thing how you friends. do that. Wow, Jason, wait, Jason, you have new friends? No, I'm saying I don't think oh. as an adult you can do that. That's it's, it's against can... the rules. Yeah, I, I mean, I heard a survey on the radio once where it was saying like, once you pass a certain age, people do not form new deep friendships. Yeah, I mean I, acquaintances, I and you know, you 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 meet new people, or maybe you move and you know your neighbors. Maybe that's how you do it, like a move. Oh, a neighbor. A, <laughs> a move can do it because now you're you're willing to reset. You've left all of your friends maybe. behind. So maybe th- maybe that's what I need in my life. I, I was going to say, like I I know the names of my next door neighbors. I know I know the the names of two of them. I don't remember who's who, but <laughs> there's two names out there. Because sure. Well, here's the problem. One of them is a James, and one of them is a John. And oh, I'm like, I'm you're like, supposed hey, to remember that. Do I'm you like, say what's up, Jay? Yes, sir. 
Do you really? <laughs> you know it. Oh, man. That's I'm fantastic. Like, oh, I'm like, see, hey, Jay, I how you doing? Wave, I'm like, what up, Jay? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> and they're like, oh, man, my cool neighbor dropping me a nickname. We're, we're such good buddies that he doesn't even use my real name. You I'm know like, those guys. Andy, you know their name, Charles and Timothy, for yeah. sure. Like, that's... <laughs> that's, ever, that's they, a, what? Daniel and Steve get yeah. called Jay hey, every up, day. Jay? What's up, Jay? It's, what? it's, Why is he calling me Jay? Because I walked across the street as a oh. jaywalker. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh speaking of Jay. your street, Mike, yes. uh, I have to take a, a, a slight segue here. Uh, you have mentioned in the past on this podcast that you, in your neighborhood, is one of those houses for Christmas lights. Oh where yes, it's like you know, it's in, all in done a good up. way. Well, it's a good way because it's not my next door neighbor. They're like eight houses down, but it's not just eight houses. I drove by that. It it, it is currently as we're recording the Christmas season, and um, I drove by. It's because I wanted to house. see if I could find the singing house, and it's not a singing <laughs> you house. To see if you could find it. Well, I didn't know if it was in your neighborhood or on your street. Okay. I found it, and it's not just that. There's like six houses all Inter- next door neighbors. Interconnected. All yeah. synced up. Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah, they've they've started daisy chaining because apparently whatever the technology is that, that uh, syncs up the lights is a radio frequency. So oh other people my. are just latching on, and I'm like, this is fantastic. It's the, it's the coolest street I've ever seen. But right at the beginning of the street, before you get down to the end, there is another house on your street. That has their lights synced up to music, but yes. they've got like they've got like five strands of lights, and it is really really bad. And then <laughs> yes. right down the street, all the neighbors got together and were like, "Let's do this awesome thing." How bad does that person feel? Yeah, but have you seen uh, Jay's house? Uh, <laughs> probably. Yeah. yeah. Every very, house is Jay's good. house. All right, what's your final vote here? You want to be friends with the parents, or you want to? I need more friends, so I'm okay. sorry, kids. That's I'm, what we I'm learned let, on today's show. I'm going to let my my uh, kids oh. uh, be friends. One of us is a good father, apparently. Riley from Twitter, would you rather have a horrible short-term memory or a horrible long-term memory? Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Can I just have one of them? Good. That's great. I, I feel like I've got a terrible <laughs> short-term memory and a terrible long-term memory. So this question's great because it But insinuates... your middle term? How's your middle term? Middle term is absolutely <laughs> fine. You know, anything that happened... When does a memory become a middle-term memory? Uh, is, yesterday. Zero to 24 it? hours should be like short-term, right? Yeah, that's how I do it. And then like one it. to seven days is middle-term, and then everything seven days and beyond is long-term. I, I think middle-term is longer than that. I would say middle-term is like from 24 hours ago to like a month ago or a couple weeks at least. Oh, that's middle. Know? Okay, that could be middle term. Yeah. Because long then- term is like distant memories. They've 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 vanished. They're not in, you know, in in your last couple of months or something, but uh my middle term memory, oh man, it's on but- fire. I've put all oh, of my That's you know, where you're good? You know where you do a character builder in a in a video game startup? Uh-huh. I I drained <laughs> my short term memory and my long term memory. Oh, you put all your points. points into middle term? Absolutely. Middle term, I I got that on lockdown. But I don't remember my childhood, like at all. That's <laughs> I, true. Is that my, true? That's really true. Like I, really? I kind of yeah. Like I, I, oh. I have. No, it's not a bad thing. It's not like I, I, ha- I didn't have some horrific. It was a terrible childhood. childhood. That's why that he's I've, glad he no. You know, blacked out of my memory. I just, I just don't remember like the ages of things. And when I think of like a childhood memory, and I go, I remember this moment that happened. I, I, I genuinely. I could think of a couple moments, and I don't know if I was five or fifteen. I was like, it was, <laughs> it was in that, it was somewhere in that range that this thing happened. Was, was I sitting on the potty kicking my feet, or was I shaving that day? Right. I'm not, what, I'm not quite sure. What memory do you use when you want to recall things that a friend has talked about and their names? Oh, what memory man. is that? Because that's the one that's like. <sighs> I get in this debate with my wife all the time about forgetfulness, right? Mm -hmm. Because forgetfulness is inherently something that like you can defend forgetting things by saying, I forgot them. How can you blame me? I forgot them. But I also feel like you can intentionally remember things if you care about them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put myself on the chopping block. I'm not going to bring any, anything from the house into this conversation. I'll put myself on the chopping block. I, have a bad tendency and maybe it's because I'm get distracted too often. Maybe I'm getting older. Maybe I'm just a bad person. 
but I will ask somebody how things are going on. They will tell me a detailed story. I will. <laughs> and then like, I don't recall it <laughs> and I feel terrible about it. And it also goes a little bit with names too. Like I just don't remember names at all. I know Jason's even worse than me uh, on that one. Sometimes I, he would whisper to me like, who's that person? Who's that person? I, I don't remember people's names and Andy, you, you can attest this. You just did. We, I, I like, and that's why we call everybody Jay. <laughs> there's a perfect example. Um, our, our, our close friend, Nikki, um, oh, who, good. she gets a direct call out. Uh, yeah. Well, because I finally remember her name. <laughs> it only took like 20 years, but like the first what? decade. Oh man. I could not remember. It was her bad. Name. It was yeah, bad. And I would always ask Andy. I was like, Oh my goodness. What is her name? And he'd be like, Nikki, I told you yesterday, I told you three days ago, we ate lunch together every day for years in high school. Like, how can you not remember? And I just, it deletes from my memory. And I feel like such a jerk because I don't remember anybody's names from like the, from high school. I could run into you and I just don't, mm. I don't know you. I so don't you're, know So you the long term. Okay. The, I'm terrible with the, the short term names. I've, I'm, I've tried to be better with it when I meet someone. I now do the the device of like do you say, the mnemonic device type of thing? Well, not not like I'm not doing the associate with a letter. James I, J, I'm gonna call you J. I, <laughs> I but I'll do the thing where I will repeat their name. I'm like, oh, it's nice to meet you, James. Oh. to try. And, does, it, does it work? No, so far it's not working. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> But, but I like, say it I'm, ten times to them right after I meet them. But hey, James, James, James. But I'm I, I I'm trying to get better about it. But meanwhile, the long term memory, my long term memory is great, very right? good. My long term yeah. memory is a uh, it's it's funny. Like the people who, if you don't have a long term memory, it is one hundred percent a blessing and a curse because human nature is, of course, the things Vindictive. that the things well, the things that went wrong, the things where you screwed up, those are the things you really really remember. But you also have the blessing of like when, when you're in an argument and it's like, no, trust me, I, this is how I remember it. People are like, well, you're the one with the memory. So we'll go with we'll go with what you said. Can you can you promise Jason and I that someday, 20 years, 30 years from now, we can all sit around together and you can tell us about our lives. I can't wait to listen. Oh, to man. Stories yeah, of today. I'll be the storyteller. Tell us Absolutely. about how we lived and what we live loved and and. <laughs> Now, the the like, adventures like, we went on. Is this the, like the notebook you guys are in a hospital bed? I'm yes. And I'm trying to remind you of who you were. When you oh. were 35. We went ate, on this. We went on an airplane ride to Dallas, Texas. Do you remember Postmates? <laughs> now, Andy, now, the three of us, we've worked together a long time. It's worked yeah. out really well. We've you know, been, been uh, successful in our endeavors. I'm, I have to believe you have a good short-term memory. Yeah. Yeah, I think because I'm a good short termer. The three so wait, of us we got together, three. we've we've got this memory <laughs> thing on lockdown. I mean, I Andy remembers the short stuff. I remember all the middle stuff. Mike yeah. remembers the long term stuff. This is why we came together. Yeah, I would say combined, we're like one grown man. That's yeah. perfect. That's what was perfect. the question? Was there a question here? <laughs> horrible short term or horrible long term? If you're horrible short term, you are constantly failing at basic tasks that you need to accomplish. Yeah, I'm gonna. I I would, I would rather have short term memory than long term memory. I don't wanna. I don't wanna forget everything and constantly just feel like an idiot in my day to day life. Like I don't think long term memory affects my day to day life as much as the short term memory. Doesn't. But does. you remember your children growing up. Who? Who? I have he children. Said, he said, "Wait, what?" <laughs> You're like, which one? Which one of the two? You have three. Oh. That's why we uh, <laughs> so that's why we video record so many things. All right, Mike, your final answer here. You have a, a great long term. Do you you don't want to lose that, I assume? No, I'll I'll keep that one. I'll Sly that one. from Patreon, would you rather by the way, before I move on, I do think memory gets worse as obviously you age, but I think a lot of that has to do with responsibilities and doing so many things and thinking about so many things. When you're a kid and you're going to do a certain event, that's all you think about. As a kid, you just focused on whether it's the TV show or it's it's the game you're playing or it's the friend you're with. When I, I feel was, like you're much more laser focused as a kid. When I was a kid, 
I had every single cheat code for every video game system memorized. And yeah. I'm talking like 30, 30 steps or 30 character passwords. And I would just, I would have them at automatic recall when you would go to your friend's house and they have who framed Roger Rabbit. And you're like, oh man, you want to go to the, you want to go to the cartoon world? You want to go to Toontown? And, I got and now that you code. Know, and now you know the first letter of your neighbor's name. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Sly from Patreon. <laughs> Would you rather be a practicing doctor or a medical researcher? Ooh. What's your personality lined up with more there? Because oh, uh, practicing doctor seems like it would be very rewarding because yeah. you have the interpersonal relationship. The medical researcher seems mm. very boring and awful. <laughs> let me uh, uh, Look, the medical <laughs> so researcher let me think here. gets absolutely no glory. Nobody knows what he does specifically. Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. knows who made this awesome thing. Except you know what I mean? Uh, like who, right Joseph now, it Salk. seems pretty good. Yeah, I mean, who made the polio vaccine? I Joseph got Salk. that was Joseph oh, Salt. For real? Yeah. Who, yeah. Made, who made the measles vaccine? Mm, Jimmy Joe? Mumps. <laughs> Jimmy yeah, no, Mumps. Nobody, nobody knows. <laughs> No, of course I want to be a That's doctor. That's why we called it the mumps, because Dr. Mumps figured That's out right. how to get rid of it. Now, wait, if you're a medical researcher, are you a? do you have a doctorate to do that, or can you do that without a doctorate? Uh, it's the high school diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone off the street. I, I guess the, 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 works. the reason I'm saying this is because I know I can call myself a doctor if I am a doctor, and I have to have that to even make this a fair fight. If you can't call yourself a doctor as a medical researcher... I think, well, we'll presume you're a doctor. Right. But you're doing research, which medical research could be more than just... I Like you're thinking about the laboratory. Although right now, vaccines and medical research yeah, really kind hot. of deserve a so lot of praise right now. Right now. Uh, oh, oh no. Is it Jonas Salk? Was I calling him Jonas Joseph? It's Jonas Salk, and you call Whatever. him Joseph because you exactly. can't get a J name Whatever. down. Whatever, Jay Salk. My Jay man. Salk. <laughs> what, oh, what, my up, Jay? what up, Jay Salk? <laughs> Dr. Oh, J. I could have gotten that one. Yeah, it, probably. He he was a doctor. <laughs> Dr. No, J. Uh, I just feel like day Slam to day, dunk the pressure the of the pressure of being a doctor feels like I couldn't handle it. Because I feel like if you make a small mistake, like you're human. You yeah. But then you get your butt suit off if you make a mistake. Well, I, I'm not even it's like I like if you make somebody's butt fall off, they're gonna you're gonna get your butt suit I, off. I get that. I'm sure that's a concern for out there in, in today's world but it more immediate is i mean you, you get you get the glory you get the immediate glory of a doctor you you help someone you save their life their family is forever grateful you get someone and you don't save their life and you have you have to go out there and be like yeah so no, Sorry about Jason's that. Shaking his yeah, head. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm, no, not, I, I, I'm not about that life. I'm not doing surgery in the ER, man. I'm a primary care physician. <laughs> I'm having people come in with the sniffles, and I'm telling them how to live their life better. Lose some LBs, why don't you? Uh, he, you know, I'm I, I'm helping people in a nine to five job, going home, getting paid from all those insurance companies. Oh, I'm, I'm I will say the primary sure. care physician, I feel like it is a flow chart just looking to get rid of you. Everything you bring to a primary care physician, they're just like, I know another guy that could talk to you about that. Let me send you over there. Well, it's yeah. either, I, know, I know someone but else. You're not like, allowed to talk to them unless you come a and talk to me first. They're, 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 they're like a the receptionist. <laughs> Hold on. Let me transfer you. Yeah, they don't have to know any of it. They just Google it while we're like, sitting there. Hold on. Did you, did you try Tylenol? That didn't work? No, mm, no. Mm. Let me, Let me introduce you to, you to just Dr. J. Sulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I would be a Dr. J, too. Mike would not remember my name, oh, and he never, would just call me never. Dr. J. I wish you could hire Dr. House. <laughs> That's what I wish you could do. I wish you could go out and hire somebody. So he can make you feel like an idiot? You want to lose three limbs before he saves your life? <laughs> I want someone who just sits there and you get to hire them and they spend like three days trying to fix you and then you're done. None of this like one 10 minute, appoint mm. 10 minute appointment, wait three months, 10 minute appointment. I okay. want somebody who like gets a bunch of people together and is like, what's wrong with this guy? I, oh I, yeah, I, let's remove a limb. I get it now. I get what you're saying because it was like when you watched House, you had a team of people that were literally, they had one job every episode and it was that person. Yeah. That's it. 
That's yeah. uh, they're all scheming and plotting and researching, and, and they they're going to people's right. houses they, they to did. like in, investigate things. It's like, can you imagine if we had that per patient? <laughs> Like yeah, we but would that's have the thing not shown at the end of every house episode is when the bill when Doctor House leans is like your bill is in the mail. That's true. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it, everyone was like about fourteen million dollars to get treated by Doctor House. <laughs> All right, look, it's uh, a celebrity <clears throat> doctor. What is what's the price tag on a celebrity doctor? So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with medical researcher. I'm just gonna show up. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna know in the back of my mind that I saved a bunch of people's lives. And I'm gonna go home. I know it's nine to five there. Practicing doctor, I know I'm getting that page. Nobody's like, hey, you got another slide in here you got to work on. So I'm going research. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'll still be the primary care physician because then I will tell all of my friends uh, what's wrong. To lose weight. Oh, okay. Uh, And and part of being a doctor is all of your friends call you all the time. That's true. They all try to. uh, What's wrong? Take a look at this boil. I have some friends who are doctors and nurses, and who do you think it's called when my kid has an injury? And I'm like, okay, so it's kind of like this. It's the the cut's about this big. Do I need to go in? Yeah, yeah. And I, how do you not call them? <laughs> I mean, by the way, Al, do we have time for one more, or should we move on to life advice? We got nothing but time, Andy. Okay, Victor from Patreon. Would you rather travel the world for a year, all expenses paid, or have forty thousand dollars now to spend on Ooh. whatever you want? 40k oh baby we are the worst people to ask this question to why is that because are my kids coming or not yes and that's exactly hilarious your your choice oh it's your choice if what about the guilt what about i was gonna say i love my kids but i really would love it without them but i don't want to miss them my i I just had this conversation like not even kidding a, a conversation with my parents like a week ago and because they they took my kids out for a walk on my street, Jason, because they wanted to go see the singing house. That's, now, a, see, that's a smart decision. Look, they see how, how it all comes back to it. And uh, one of them, I won't name names, but one of them like didn't want to walk back because they got tired. Decker? <laughs> I'm not going to name names. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he would be like, yeah, I told you I didn't want to walk back. <laughs> that's who he is. He's, he's a savage. Uh, but we were reminded of, of, uh, a family vacation because when, when I was a teenager, uh, the parents would always try and like bring us on these educational trips and we <sighs> took, yeah, sorry, I go on. I thought so, you said educational trips. I, I certainly did. So hold the vomit. Uh, and one of, one of the year, the, the year we, uh, uh, I've told the story how we were driving down the East coast and my father missed the state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, I did hear that story. So. There, it was that trip, and we went to Boston, and uh, what's what's it called? the Freedom Trail? I believe it is called. There's like a, an entire huge walking path where it, it takes you through many historical sites of the the founding of the United States of America. Now, to an eleven and twelve year old, this is the just the most boring garbage of all time. And now, as a nearly 40-year-old man, I'm like, man, you know what sounds awesome? <laughs> Can I go do that Freedom Trail and see where the, the founding of the country happened? People, wait, you're telling me that. You're telling me that. <laughs> you're telling me 300 years ago, people were signing a piece of paper that turned into the, the foundation of this country? Like, that sounds so exciting. Like, I, that gets me revved up thinking about it now. But as a kid... Take me to Sega World, please. Can I? So maybe can we the go kids, to Disney World. Maybe the kids don't even want to go on this travel the world for a year trip. They, that's they right, probably they don't. don't. I mean, I've I've wanted for several years to do some sort of Euro trip. You know, I I've never really experienced Europe. I haven't gone around to. You know, I want to go to see the Eiffel Tower and all all the touristy stuff. Go to Germany. Go to go to Paris. Go to France. Go to Italy. Go wherever and and experience the food. Go to some of the big. You know, a tr- you know touristy spot you got these ball and chains dragging you down i know my right if if i spent all the money (laughs) and time and energy and effort to go over there i'm literally torturing oh they're complaining the whole time for weeks and i don't blame (laughs) them i wouldn't expect them to necessarily think the louvre is um is as unbelievable as i'm sure it uh, it's a museum so it's probably not but um (laughs) You know, just as an example, like 
So I think it's I It's not just would... a museum, Jason. It's an art museum. Yeah, even worse. Uh, wait, there's no interactive, like, science cool stuff? What is this, not a children's where's, museum? Where's the buttons? Yeah. Um, man. But what would what would we spend 40000 on right now? You could do it on anything. You get you choose option B here. You could spend 40000 right now. What do you buy? So you have to spend it today? Sure. Yeah, okay. you do. What do you do if you have to go spend $40,000 right now? Because that's what's a the, weird question. What's the biggest TV that money can buy right now? Oh. You would just go go to town on that eighty five. I, I don't know. Inch. That's that's my first. That's my first instinct. You could buy a vehicle, maybe some yeah. of them. No, you know you can definitely get a. You got to splurge good though. If you if if you get that, that's where, what I mean. That's like what I'm saying. I'm buying an unnecessary bills. thing. So I'm buying, I'm buying the hundred inch television. You're getting a boat or something that's like a I, boat. <laughs> well, like yeah. my my wife has always wanted a boat, and I'm like, why would we like boats are so expensive? We could go down and rent a boat. Anytime we want, you can go rent a boat and it's a couple hundred dollars. And then when I want to do it again next year, I can I can do it a couple hundred dollars. Like we're not going to the, to the lake. Yeah, every but don't week. you want to maintain a boat? Isn't that the real thrill? <laughs> right, the cost of maintaining or or housing it somewhere. So, but if I had forty thousand to just like throw away on some splurge item, I don't know. Boat comes to mind. Yeah, it comes. A it couple says jet, some jet skis. We'll get yeah. some jet skis for uh, maybe way more like, fun. You could probably get some sick jet skis for forty k. You could probably get like maybe six of them. Oh for yeah, your I, friends. I have no idea. What's a jet ski cost? What's a jet ski cost? I, I have no idea. If you told me it was six grand, is my guess. Six if grand. You, if you said it was five hundred dollars, I'd believe you. If you said it was twenty five thousand dollars, I'd believe you. I don't know what a jet ski costs. I'm gonna guess five five grand. I think it's like seven or eight grand for a a nice one. Great! All right. I can buy I can buy five for the family. Oh, I'm man, gonna get I'll family? get a motorcycle too, just cause. The family <laughs> on jet skis would be a lot of fun. So, would you rather have family jet skis or travel the? World I'd rather for go a around year. the world. I'd rather go around the world. If yeah. I got one year, all expenses paid, I'm going around the world. I'm dragging the kids. They can play Nintendo Switch in as many countries as we get to. <laughs> I mean. That's where I'm gonna go. Yeah, all right, hundred percent. I'm there with you. It's looking like a top of the line jet ski is more like twenty grand. Oh. <laughs> So Samsonite. I've got a jet. I've got one jet ski. No, all right. Let's move on. <laughs> hey, Spitwads. Uh, let's talk about one of my uh, favorite companies, favorite apps on my phone. Genuinely, one of my favorites, and that is the Rocket Money app. And it was formerly known as Truebill. So why it's my favorite? It's because it's a personal finance app that just finds and cancels unwanted subscriptions. We live in a subscription world where I don't know if anybody is allowed to sell anything, not a subscription anymore. So it's easy to lose track of them. It monitors your spending for you. It helps you lower your bills. I've used it. They, they actually have a service where they auto cancel it for you. Like they'll go and they'll do whatever needs to be done to cancel it. You don't even have to do it yourself. And uh, most Americans think they're spending like $80 a month on subscriptions. The actual total, it's like $200. So there is money to be saved. It is a useful app beyond the subscription, just keeping track of your finances. It is, um, it's awesome. So stop throwing that money away. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions. Manage your expenses. Do it all the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash ballers. That's rocketmoney.com slash ballers. Rocketmoney.com slash ballers. <laughs> Spitballers to the rescue. One of the things I really like about this show is how smart we are. Oh, that's something so I just smart. love about us as people, even outside of the show. Yep. In or out of the show. Super smart. Best advice ever. And that's why we, we did a dedicated segment because it would be like withholding a gift to the world. Well, in right? fairness, we did this segment mostly because of Owl's laziness to not get a new one in here. Um, so well, we we're did, going back we to that. But I'm with, I'm with Andy. There was a gift like, is Celine Dion like, I will never oh, sing again. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair. No. That wouldn't be no. fair to no. the people. Like, yeah. was Dr. J Salk like, no vaccine? No. But no. Is Dr. J like, I'm not going to dunk? <laughs> no. They've got gifts to give, and we've got <laughs> gifts to give. All right. Life advice segment of the show. Our gift to the world. Uh, Cup of Goffy on Patreon says, just moved into my first home, and my fiance is trying to make me a handyman. <laughs> For, for everything that breaks. What oh, you're in the of, right place. What amount of time should I put in on YouTube on each specific project before admitting failure and calling 
a professional for that task. Well, I I can tell you I can tell you a story very recently. Please do. Uh, yes. just, oh, this that's is what this great. podcast yep. is for. Help yourself. I uh we 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 go up north to our our cabin. Right. And uh right. you know, the cabin's a I mean it's a it's a woodsy place. It's a place where men Well, it's a cabin. Where men do woodsy things and and <laughs> Where uh, men are men. Where men are men. And they chop there's, down there's, trees and there's trees. We wear flannel and, shirts and we carry an axe. You're darn right we do. So I get up there and... Uh, grow beards. I I can't tell you. It's impossible for... You know that show, Baking It? Oh, yeah. Where where they, they see... Did a, you say Baking It? Yeah, it's called Baking It. And what they do, Mike, is they have like I'm a not, very... I'm, I assume there's some baking going on. It's but. a baking show. It's a competition okay. show where they have like a perfectly made cake by a, a master baker, and then these three other amateurs. Uh, yeah, are they have, are they amateurs or are they like sort of? Professionals? They're just yeah, they're just pretty much amateurs, and they have to uh, <laughs> they have to bake the same cake, and it turns out awful. You've seen the show, Jason. Is this wait? I thought that was called Nailed It. Is yeah, that a different it show is. of baking, making fun of people? Oh, baking, did I mix it ba- up? Baking it is actually my son and your son's YouTube channel <laughs> where they bake things. That's where you're thinking of baking it, Andy. It's, There's that it's, memory coming yes, through. Yes, it's our two sons Nailed doing it. a channel. The show is called Nailed It, and I am a dumb person. <laughs> so you've seen Nailed It, right? Clearly, Mike's not subscribed because he didn't know what the crap I'm talking about. I know oh, what I never it is. will be. So nailed it. Anyways, I did the version. This is <laughs> this is supposed to be a helpful t- anecdote. Oh man, I did. <laughs> nobody could have failed more at building a birdhouse than I did. Is my point. I tried to buy the. I, I, sir, I disagree. <laughs> I buy. I bought the tools. I read the YouTube. And, you read the YouTube. Yeah. And I, I got in the garage and I tried. I'm like, I'm a man. I can make a birdhouse with wood. I'm telling you, it was the ugliest, abnormal, miscut, nasty piece of wood square that was tossed aside in a beleaguered, depressing, I failed, threw it away. I mean, we got you done. You threw it away? My son and I walked away Those from that. Those birds would have loved that house. It wasn't a house, Mike. It was four pieces of wood attached together with holes on both sides of it. It was called a bird trap. They were going to die in there. <laughs> it, was, it was a box without a top or bottom. Look, and as long as it can hold seed birds, birds are not particularly picky about their houses. It couldn't have held anything. We both looked at it and said, this is not for me. And I threw it on the ground and I haven't used the tools since. Oh, no. Oh, and no. S- That's sad. And so I'm really, my point is I thought I could watch YouTube and I would have like the muscle ability to do all of this stuff precisely, right. but I'm too impatient. I didn't mm. practice. I can't wrap my head around. Like, I, I don't want to be too insulting here, but I feel like. I'm not good at this type of stuff, and I could definitely build a birdhouse. Like, I, that sounds like a challenge. Okay, okay, okay. Someone, I know someone who's got the tools, Jason. Oh, good. I don't have to buy them. <laughs> They're not you, doing anything with do them. Do you understand that? I just want to be clear because I may not have understood this. You've got to cut a bunch of wood into the same sizes as each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Already got, impo- that's impossible. Th- then you've got to, right? And then you've got to hammer it. Now, if you, oh, I can hammer, hammer it. Hammering wood perpendicular perfectly was not as easy as I thought it would be because I didn't have any <laughs> tools to like, how do you hammer perpendicularly perfect? Oh, it's easy. I think you, you need s- some clamps or something. You start with the hot glue machine. That's what mm. I would do. Mm. I would get the hot glue gun. I would put these wood to get, these pieces of wood together, and then it's like, uh, I probably wouldn't even add the nail. I'd probably be like, yeah, it's good enough. It's hot glued. Hot, um, oh, hot glue. That's a... Jason, your birdhouse is staying three together M for strips. three days. Three M strips. <laughs> it doesn't Vel- rain outside, ones. does it? Um, so the question here, this gentleman moved into a new house. And when you do move into a new place, it is your responsibility to try to be a handyman 
for a while. I is feel it? like there's a I that's how I've felt in every house that I've ever what? moved into. Jason. There's like a six month period where I fix up the things and then what once is the handiest thing you've you've ever done. Oh gosh. Uh handiest thing I've ever done. I refloored the house, my first house. You uh, wow. You refloored a house? Refloored the entire thing. Now, how, yep. Tile or there carpet? Is, I would bet my life it wasn't you alone. It, it was, was you me, alone? It was 100% alone. Alone? By myself, alone. 100%. Wow, my light in my room. Your lighting is just Just gone. for no reason. Just changed to, to <laughs> that, like, the, the the Lord above is, is looking down <laughs> upon me right now. Because um, you a liar. For those listening, Jason just... <laughs> completely changed i mean his light if, in his room just blasted him like you're on trial happened all now alone that, he said well that, um no it was you can ask my wife it was uh, how did it turn out because i guess anybody could floor a house um yeah no it turned out uh, if i may say so myself turned out perfect i mean there's no what well, if it's done right it's done right um uh, it was um carpet Wait. I turned it okay. into new carpet in the bedrooms and hardwood So you did that floor. move where you like you're on you're on the the hands and knees and you're doing the the knee the slamming strike. it against yeah the knee strike slamming it stretching and the carpet. How'd you learn how to do that? Uh, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, I don't even think I YouTubed it. I mean, most of impressive. Most of the the wood flooring stuff, it it just snaps together and then you you've got to cut it around corners and stuff. But li listen, I wouldn't that was... tell that story a lot because you don't seem that capable now. No, I'm not. That was a long time ago. That's, that's what I'm saying. I've moved. Mm. Uh, and when I when you first move in a house, you're like, I can do things. I'm, you know, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get this fixed. You know, I replaced all my ceiling fans in one house. I'm not doing anything anymore. I'm not. I, I, wow. Ceiling fans are the worst thing to replace imaginable you're, because you're getting brighter. <laughs> You're getting brighter and brighter as time goes by, Jason. Uh, that, I don't know what to do about it. It reminds me of uh, I attempted once to do some flooring changes uh, in a house, in my house, and it was uh, I had made the decision, like, I want to do the stained cement. If you've, if you guys are familiar with yeah. stained yeah, yeah. cement. Yeah, no, so it's I, kind of self-describing there. Well, I just want to make sure that the people are are understanding what's going on here. So I t I tear all the carpet Andy, out. Andy, have you heard of? Do you know what ripped jeans are? Have you heard of this thing? <laughs> you see their yeah. jeans, and they <laughs> let me describe it to you. Uh, you guys yes. are in the loop on this, right? So, so stained cement. I rip out all the carpet. Uh, I step uh, one. Yeah, no, that, look, that was uh, it was just physical labor, not a problem. Handled it. I uh patched all the like the holes you know in in the cement kind of try to even it all up and then i go and we make this like my wife and i we make this like cool intricate design with tape and then i i i uh i stain all the cement you know and and, and wait so i go check on it the next day and i'm like oh man this is, this is fantastic we rip the tape off you know it, it looks great except the floor is like kind of sticky and i'm like <laughs> what is what's uh what's going on here and I don't know how, but the cement did not absorb the stain for the stained <laughs> cement. So it just kind of dried, <laughs> dried on the top. So I, I had to buff the, all of it off <laughs> and buff all it off. And then I just had cement. So now, <laughs> so in that room, it was just, it was just a cement room. No stain. Very impressive. You guys have heard of cement, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tell me more. I, Dan from Patreon. Uh, <laughs> So what is the amount of time? We never gave any advice. We told stupid stories. Uh, what amount of time should I put in on YouTube for each project before admitting failure? I think uh, you know, like your fiance just wants to see you make an effort. Can you break a sweat and break a bone? That's all oh, you got to do. Break a sweat, oh, break, break a, bone. a bone. I was going to go two hours. Oh, I, I, feel like, I, I feel like two it's hours or an injury. I feel like it's a day. Like if you can give a, a project a day and if it's like, yeah, I, I tried... Uh, I looked things up. I went back to the store twice, then mm, quit. Yeah, then okay, there quit. you go. How many times have you been to the store? Yeah, if you've got to go back twice, and then after the second trip you can't get it, that's immediately pick up the phone and there call go, yeah. someone who Three knows what the, they're doing. That is the worst. When you go, oh. and you try to get the right screw for the right thing, and you come back, and you're just barely off, and you're like, mm. I, mm. you might as well buy every screw in every size, and then you're set. 
All right, Dan from Patreon, settle settle a relationship argument for me. When putting on socks and shoes, do you put on both socks then both shoes? Or do you do sock, shoe, sock, shoe? It's okay, definitely Dan, both Dan from socks. Patreon, number one, uh, thank you for your support of this podcast. Why is this, this a relationship argument? This is, I don't, this, this is an argument of any type? There's, there's, there's more than one answer. way? No, there's only one do way. This? No, there's one way that people do this, and then there's psychopaths. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, Jason. I agree. I agree. All right. Well, reveal yourself, Jason. You put your socks on. Of course you put your socks and then on. You what put else? your what? shoes on. Who does sock, shoe, sock, shoe? Because if you do sock, shoe, sock, shoe, you end up with one completed foot. Yeah, with <laughs> one <laughs> naked foot. I mean, put, what if you yeah, put that, on your socks and your shoes? You don't. You know, I don't put on a sock shoe sock shoe. Yeah, yeah. I don't tell my kids. You know, I'm like, hey, get your shoes and socks on. I'm like, don't get your shoe 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 sock shoe sock on. <laughs> Go do that. There's only one exception to this, and that is if you have one leg. That's the only. <laughs> okay, well then, yeah, because you put on your shoe and your sock. Yeah, right, right. Otherwise, psychopath. Oh man, I really hope that Dan, our loyal supporter on Patreon, is not the psychopath. Sock, yeah. shoe, I'll, sock, I'll, shoe. Oh, but on the other hand, is the you want to be married to a psychopath or you want to be a psychopath? Which oh, one? that's a good would you rather. Would you rather be the psychopath or be married to the psychopath? <laughs> uh, Sign I, me up to be the psycho. Me too. I think if, when you're the psychopath, you don't realize you that you have are in no fact the psychopath. Idea. Psychos you're, have... You're, ignorance is bliss. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> not for others, but for you it is. Yeah. Uh, so that's an easy one. Sock, Just, shoe, sock, shoe. My, yeah, my mind a, is... Try it. Handle Try them. it next time. No! See if they arrest you. See if they no! haul you off in a we've asked, jacket. We've asked Spitwads to try horrific things. Wiping with the wrong arm. Uh, yeah. I would never, ever put this on a Spitwad. I would never stoop so low as to say, I'm going to do it. Try do sock it. shoe, sock shoe. I'm, next time, I'm going sock shoe. Let have me you know when you're in the middle of it. And I'll give you a ring on the phone and you can get distracted and have one foot complete. Think about taking your shoes and socks off. Do you take the shoe off yes. and then the sock oh, off? No, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Because that would be the same not. thing. It would be so weird. That would be so weird to take a shoe off, a sock off, a shoe off, a sock off. Yeah. All right. Settled. Justin from the website. I got pulled over for driving. Oh, I just got pulled over for driving over the speed limit. And you're by, jumping on the website? <laughs> by a lot. Yeah, of course. Life advice, Mike. Oh, the yeah. officer that came to my window just got called to another scene and said, stay here. I have an emergency, but I have transferred your citation to another officer who's on the way. That was five minutes ago. How long do I wait before taking off? Oh, hmm. wait, that's a good. No, this doesn't happen. This happened. Well, clearly. This no. happened to Justin from I our I just website. got called to another scene. And he said, stay here. I have an emergency, but I have transferred your citation to another officer who is on the way. Hmm. That was five minutes ago. I mean, they've got your plates. They know who you are and where you're. How long would you actually? Because I would be sitting there for as long as possible. But you it's, would? I'm not driving away from a cop that told me to stay put. 30 oh, minutes. Man. 30 minutes Justin, would be my. Look. 30 minutes and I call the police. <laughs> you Justin, called 911. I've I been would pulled call over, the police but there's say, no officer. I what am, am I supposed to? You would drive baffled. away, Mike. I am baffled right now. At, look, I am tr getting in trouble. Is no, I I do not handle that. Like inside the the, the repercussions of my anxiety, I it's just the mere thought of being in trouble. Interesting. But if I've been pulled over for speeding, and the officer said, "Stay here. There's another cop coming," and you, that was five minutes ago. You have waited. Five minutes too long. You, need you would to, leave? You need to get out of there, man. You got to know your rights. You you have to be served by the person who saw you break the law. I'm out, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm living Wait, free. don't you have to listen to the cop that, that says right? stay there? No, I'm out. I'm out of here. Are I want to know. Me? Okay. You're now. You're going to knock on the door later. Yeah, I want to know. By from... that same OG cop. I want to know from our police officer friends out there yeah. what what the law would be on this if someone drove away afterwards. 
here's uh, here's what are happens. you here's able to law. go after they shouldn't them? give you a hard no. time they no, shouldn't the give law. you a hard time if this happened and then a, a, an officer says i have an emergency i have to attend someone will be will be by shortly to say cite- give you a citation you get two citations you get your speeding and you get one for stupidity that you sat around <laughs> waiting for another oh, cop to show up and give oh you a my ticket gosh. I oh, used you, the obeying authority there would not come into play. Where he said a police officer should stay here. Dude, you get you're out. I'm out. Wow. Okay. I, I am. When's the last time you got pulled over, Mike? I'm guessing years ago. Never. Years ago. Yeah. I have. I've been. Was pulled it for over. driving too slowly? <laughs> because no, I'm driving have, behind you. Yeah, because I have been pulled over twice. I have been citated twice. One of them, definitely my fault. Definitely. Definitely my fault going a little bit too fast. The other one was one of those bull crap. The speed limit drops by 10 for a stretch of road, and they just sit there waiting to get you. That one was nonsense, and I, I just realized something. I stand by it. But, every, but since that second one, I drive You got scared slow. straight. You yes. are the rough McGruff case study gone right. Yes. Yes. He, you know what? he scared you straight. Dude, y- you know what's... You know what sucks? Paying for a speeding ticket. You know what sucks worse? Going to that stupid traffic school that doesn't teach you anything, but you're stuck there for six hours. Well, so Jason your can let us know what up. that school's been like because bef- I've count been down there the days. a couple of times. I've been there a couple, a couple times. of times. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I've been driving a while. I've been speeding <laughs> just as long. Um, <laughs> No, man. No, thanks. Um, I don't need any more tickets in my, my life. Here's the worst part about getting a ticket. It's not the citation. It's not the uh, the class. It's not the, the money you have to spend. Uh, other than the momentary absolute fear and crap your pants when you, get, when you see the lights and you're like, no! The worst part is I'm usually trying to get somewhere quick. And now right. my my effort to get there quick has made me later. And I you know, you gotta it's a it's a terrible backfire when you're running late somewhere because now it's like what's yeah. what's the better way to get, get show up five minutes late? It's your short term memory, Jay. Or you had show a little up bit forty five minutes late. Yeah. I will say I have a very irrational fear of like there's a time where I will speed and it's when I when I gotta do a number two. And I have this like <laughs> ridiculous, irrational fear of. Oh, you get pulled over like, then, th- and this you is can't this go? is the time. This is the time I'm gonna get pulled over, and there's gonna be no stopping it. And I'm gonna get pulled over, and I'm gonna have poopy pants. <laughs> Sir, did you just poop your pants while I, I was checking your license? <laughs> yes, officer, I did. I Stay can... here while another officer comes and cleans up your. <laughs> oh, oh, stay stay here and wait, and then you drive away <laughs> as the police officer. And you know you never called anyone else. That was their punishment for pooping their pants. <laughs> That's right. He never called a backup officer. He just made no, you sit in the just poop. curious. And and hopefully there's a camera nearby I can look at to just see you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at this uh, guy still there. Yeah, stay stay here. All right. Uh, He's yeah, sitting in poop. yeah. He's sitting <laughs> in his poopy pants. <laughs> He's waiting for another officer. That's never gonna come. All right. Let's dr- <laughs> let's get into the draft. Let's get onto the draft. Are you looking to get your financial future organized? Well, if you don't have life insurance yet, that should be at the top of your list. Fabric by Gerber Life is the easy one-stop shop you need with life insurance and other family finance solutions all in one place. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high-quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. It takes less than 10 minutes to apply, see your quote, and then get a personalized quote to fit your family's needs. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam. Fabric's new lower prices could mean potential savings over other providers with great quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. And they have over 1,600 five-star reviews on Trustpilot. When you are looking for life insurance, you want a reliable quality life insurance company. And that's what you get with Fabric by Gerber Life. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash ballers. That's meetfabric.com slash ballers. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash ballers. Policies insured by Western Southern Life Insurance Company, not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. 
The Spitballers Draft. All right. Mike has the first pick oh, because he scattered today. And what are we drafting, Al? We are drafting dream sponsorships, meaning what companies or brands uh, you would want to sponsor this podcast. Oh, like wow. the, the the tip the tip of the of the pinnacle of the peak of the mountain of the best sponsors mm. out there. Who who would we want the most? And I, oh, I can think of we, different we motivations. Or, or myself? No, no, personally. me. Okay. I. Who would I want? Who would Mike want? Who would Andy want the most? I can think this of many different motivations for. Yeah, because look. It, it, 100% fourth right when when someone is nice enough to sponsor the show they often want you to talk about using the product so like they'll send you some of the product so you can give an accurate like I've had it I have used it and it's always like this is Merry Christmas to me that one of our nice sponsors has, has sent me stuff so now we're like that's my motivation is do, who do I want to send me some product right. or like who do I want to be just associated, associated with. with absolutely because there is and, power in some certain associations yeah and for the record spitwads and and uh, foot clan members that that might be listening we turned down a lot of sponsors like we we're genuine to our personal endorsement right. so your your product ain't good well, we don't sponsor it we, well Man. we don't advertise it being number one here sucks because i have a clear number one and i don't know if that seems hooligans. like a good situation that seems for you. really no good. no no it's i but i feel like you hooligans will not take it unless you're just in spite trying to take my sponsor i here. was very curious oh yeah that's not that's probably not coming back to you mike um what i was very curious how rough mcgruff tied <laughs> in you're like i like to tie it in yeah. and the whole show i've been thinking how did Ruff McGruff it was come just to give mind me your, for a- give me your stuff? Oh, like the free examples. Yeah. You gotta remember Mike's always four layers deeper than you, Jason. Wow. Yeah. I'm just shocked that his his mind wa- went to I want your stuff. And so it immediately started. He with needed to make a rhyme. Ruff McGruff. He- stuff, Jason. As, right. as a as a musician, when you're trying to rhyme, you go for the first thing you could think of, and that was uh rough. And then I was like, oh, Ruff McGruff. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have two rhymes with stuff. Okay. All right, Mike, you're you're up. All right, I will take. Uh, it's this. on my list. I don't like. The, I don't like that it's on your list. That's. I that's don't even trash. know what you're talking you're tra- about. You're a trash person. You're a trash friend, Jason. Because I'm I'm taking Disney. Oh, okay. I'm taking I am taking Disney because I get. And look, part of that is I get everything that Disney is associated with, my friends. That's Marvel. That is. Star Wars, that's Indiana Jones. That that's me going to any Disney park that I want. You think for, they're giving you all those benefits? You're darn me, right they are. They're that, a sponsor. That company is coming out with a wing and they're look, on my list, I have Disneyland as my number 2 because I want to I want to I want to advertise Disneyland and go to Disneyland. So <laughs> yes. that was my number 2 option. But also on the list is Marvel. And I wasn't thinking I was I get the whole umbrella of You're all darn Disney. right I do. It's Disney. Oh my it's, that's ridiculous. I take it, <laughs> Procter well, and Gamble. I get everything. It's funny sure, because... Sure, take Procter and Gamble. Good friends of the show, man. Keep, take your hair up to 100. I was thinking there's some sponsors that wouldn't give you much for free, but the association would be amazing, right? Like if Disney sponsors you, that's pretty cool. But then there are other sponsors whose products are cheap enough to where they might give you a lifetime supply. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about lifetime supply situations. They're letting me into the park at least. Maybe they're not maybe sending once, me once a maybe, year. No, no, dude, they're great. Like I they, wouldn't let you into a park. That's for employees. Sure. Employees for Disney get to go into the park whenever they want. So maybe I don't get cool merch, but I'm going to the parks whenever I want. All right, and that's that's a good one. I mean, we're we're obviously <sighs> Disney lovers here and uh, Disneyland lovers. So uh, no, I I I like it a lot. That wasn't what I thought you were going with. I, I thought you were going with something else that is also on my list, and uh, we'll see if that makes back to you or you pick it. But you also didn't take the right uh, the right one on one. Oh man! Welcome to the Tesla Studios. Oh, yeah, no, baby. It's, it's, it's on my list. Oh, you, I mean, there's no cooler inventions yeah. in the world right now. I mean, Tesla as a brand, Tesla as a stock, Tesla Very as hot. a as a car. As oh my goodness. 
EV for the win, and I'm going to be enjoying my free product. I got, I got me a free Tesla because they want a personal endorsement, and so they're going to get it. Yeah, but here's what you don't know about Tesla. Oh, I know they don't advertise. Is that well, what you don't? Say? Not only do they not advertise, but their employees have to buy the cars. Elon Musk, the I ain't no CEO, employee. I'm a celebrity CEO, endorser. The CEO of of Tesla, Elon Musk, has has said on the record that he buys his cars. So enjoy your association with Tesla because you're still buying the cars. Uh, for the record, um, you took Disney. As an, yeah. en as an entire entity, this is a make-believe world of imagination, <laughs> and I'm getting a free Tesla. I don't care what you say. That's my sponsor, Tesla. Yeah, I'm just, I was, I'm just trying to shut it down because it's so cool. It was up on my list, too, and I thought it was my pick, and then Jason picked, and now I'm sad. Yeah. All right. Uh, listen, the fantasy footballers, we've had five years' worth of shows and sponsors and different entities have come along. And and believe it or not, we've been sponsored by the tourism of various states. It's true. In the we history have. of oh. that show. True. 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 So I am going to be sponsored here because the precedent's been set. I would like to be sponsored by the tourism and state of Hawaii. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's so good. Because I would love to give a personal endorsement. To the state. Of We're gonna Hawaii. have to bring you down, all expense paid, nice vacation. Tell people I mean, about it. I mean, it's just and what's oh, they're that's saying? Oh, so good. And, and and every state's got a tagline, and it would be just like Hawaii. Yep. And that would be it. It'd be like, yeah, yeah it's a, it's us. They don't it's need Hawaii. a tagline. Hawaii. It's oh. Hawaii. And so, oh. <laughs> sponsored by Hawaii. I'm, oh, I want to be sponsored by the state of Hawaii. Uh, because we've been sponsored by the state of New Mexico, so it only seems fair. <laughs> All right, our my second pick. Mm -hmm. Um, I will go with the tech that I will always need forever. Mm -hmm. It is love hate when we talk about them sometimes because mm -hmm. of the way that the company makes decisions. Mm -hmm. But it is the you know this is like a Tesla pick. It's Apple. Yeah, I'm going to take Apple because I need a new phone, a new iPad, a new computer, and I need them always forever on a regular cycle. I need to have that tech, and yeah. I would I would love to be a um, Apple fan boy because they sponsor the show. I uh, you know what's funny is like we're we're all Apple fan boys. We got the watches and the uh, the whole suite. You know, every computer in my house is is a Mac, is an Apple, and, and it's funny because. I'm pretty sure as like I I hate them. You know like I'm I'm so sick of Apple and I feel like aluminum. I miss, uh, yes, aluminum <laughs> frame. Um I miss Steve Jobs and his creativity. None of this coming out with oh, oh here's our new product. It's a credit card. <laughs> Why don't you sign up and get some debt? Give me a break, Apple. Whoa. Losers, but also I love all your stuff Whoa. and I would love to get it for free. I would love it. Um yep. it's a good pick. That was Despite my also uh, kind of weird uh, hatred for Apple, I love mm -hmm. them, and they were next on my on my list, and I would have picked them. So the top three on my list were Apple, Tesla, Tesla, Apple, and Disneyland. Can we? Can we? Those can I get off. a clarity on on your first pick, Jason? Sure. Because is it Tesla or Tesla? I believe it because is I Tesla. Thought it, Tez, right? Yeah, as I, though I it's a Z. Yeah, I, I believe it is pronounced with a Z, but okay. I also believe that is dumb, and I say it is Tesla. <laughs> I say it both. I, I mean, if you'd rewind, I've Disney said it both ways. Disney or Disney? Dis Disney. <laughs> All right, move on. That's actually a really good comp because that we say Disney like it's a Z. Well, a person's not. last name though. I mean, is, yeah, is Tesla. I don't know. All right, I just thought I I thought I'd check. All right, um, <laughs> Jason. All right, back Jason, up. you're back up. I have Hawaii and Apple. <laughs> good. Mm, that, you're you're living a pretty good life over I'm there. I'm not too bad. All right, I know my fourth pick. I already know it for sure. There's, it's impossible that either of you would take them. You know your fourth pick. It's and, Oscar and, Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my baloney has a first name. Um, so I, so now I'm trying to piece oh. together my three. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, between these two Jello companies, 
I look, I'm going to stay. Uh, th this this will be a really weird one. I'm going to say that I'm going to stay true to who I am. Um, but then this feels a very impersonal pick because it's really I'm going to stay true to who everyone is. Um, oh, no, it's Fortnite, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's Amazon. Dude, that owns everything. That and is upsetting <laughs> right now because Amazon was the pick. Yeah, I, I was mean, gonna take it. <laughs> I mean, you've got you got AWS, Mike. I just got your gig. Oh, okay, so proof. now I'm the, now I'm the spokesman. Uh, you get all the Prime shipping, all the. I mean, Amazon has literally everything. So I just inherited the world, uh, free of charge, as a personal endorser. Yeah, uh, normally they give the entire company to whoever. Well, according according to Mike's Disney, how he gets everything. <laughs> no, um, I don't. I I'm said there. I don't get merch. So I get to go to the parks, though. All right. Well, all right. Get, all right. I get everything. Two picks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, the, the great news is the pick came back, and Jason was not uh, a terrible friend. So it, my actual number one pick, because mm -hmm. look, I know Disney wasn't going to make it back, but my actual number one pick, and anyone who knows me know that I will take Nike yeah. as my sponsor because the getting just nonstop brand new Nikes, like there's there's shoes out there you can't even get them. You like you you try to buy them immediately when they come out. And they're like, oh, so sorry about that. We're all sold out. Well, not when I am sponsored by Nike. And, of course, I have my own shoe made by Nike because that's how I am a sponsor. That would, that, would be, that, that would be it. I mean, that would be the end of all shows. for the, the footballers would be over. The spitballers would be over because I would just convert into energy and light, and I would Mike ascend. likes shoes if you didn't I get it. I like shoes, specifically it, Nike shoes. It's a great, great pick. Nike's you know, obviously a, a massive brand and we all like, I, I'm pretty confident that every single pair of yeah, shoes. Yeah, we're a, we're a Nike. We're, yeah. Well, the three of us, I don't know. Al, are you a Nike guy? Nah, not particularly. What, what, what shoe He's are you? A dollar He's a store. Nike. He's are you a dollar a, store guy. Are you a Payless shoe? I think the vast That's majority of my much. shoes were probably purchased at Walmart. <laughs> Uh, so, that can be your no, that this, yeah. not everyone Nike, cares. Nike's about shoes. a good pick because they they cost just around around that amount where you'd be getting regular supply. Yeah. So you don't want to, if it's too expensive. We know from history of being sponsored, you don't always get the big ticket item, right? I'm not you need getting a Model X. Right. It's not. You're happening. not getting a. You will get the the 132 scale Model X. That's what they'll send you. Yes. Yeah. All right. So All you right. got another pick, Mike. Disney so and Nike, I, though. I like Jason. I know my fourth pick, but I am very torn on what I want to go with of the third because I have one that's very practical and incredible, and then I have one that's just cool. And I have no choice. I got to take the cool one. I got to take the cool one. I'm I'm sponsored by PlayStation, my friends. I am so oh, I am God. I am sponsored by the Sony PlayStation. And before everyone gets in, all up in arms. I love Microsoft. I love Xbox. I love PlayStation. Uh, my my allegiance to either system is does not exist. Whichever I, sponsor comes first, <laughs> you will say your. You know my which favorite. one I like more? Whoever's paying me. <laughs> Look, I PlayStation Two was or PlayStation One and Two were huge uh, consoles in my life. Incredible memories playing those. Then I was on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I didn't. I didn't really PlayStation Three. So like, I've I've got I've got both of them in my arsenal. But right, just right now, based off of the cool factor and like the games coming out, I will take PlayStation. Um, wait, did it, oh, so I took Nike and PlayStation. So I got to yeah. wait on my fourth pick. Okay, you're up, Jay. Oh man, oh man, this is really really tough because there's a brand that I like the most that is the, it's 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 the better pick probably the bigger vote getter but i'm also looking at what product i can receive and there's not there really isn't anything i'm not going to really receive any product from this company and on the other hand a lifetime supply of chipotle <laughs> oh, oh no man. oh no I think I got to take it. I get the gold <laughs> card. I can walk into any the Chipotle card, anywhere. Dude. Me and my family, we taken care of. Lifetime supply. What do I want today? Do I want a burrito? No, I want a bowl. I want tacos. I get whatever I want. Chipotle is sponsoring card. me. And we, you know, look, we we as a group probably have Chipotle at least once a week. Probably now it feels like we're actually doing an ad. 
You just, yeah, we, oh, well, that was a not. pretty powerful ad right there. That None of fair. these companies are currently sponsoring the yes. show. Hashtag they, they are not, yet. but I guarantee that the the uh, Chipotle app was just fired up on at least 500 phones. <laughs> uh, but if you're listening, state of Hawaii, <laughs> check out the case study from New Mexico. It worked out pretty good. Go ahead and sign up. True. True. All right, so am I back on the clock here, my last yep. two picks? You get to finish it up. All right. This is tough. I <laughs> I have one that I will not be picking, but I want to pick it just for the theme song. Oh, there's a theme just song? for the tagline for this um for this State company. Farm? No. Nope. Oh. It goes way back. My it goes Liberty? to the Goes back Liberty, to the rough, Liberty? rough yeah. McGruff. We, we have, ages. Jason, we have said specifically Liberty will never be sponsoring this. That's podcast. true. That's true. So I'm going to go with jingle. the first one. I'm going to go with is uh, I'm going to be true to myself, and no, not New Mexico. I'm going with the National Football League. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's on my, yeah. It's on my list. Yeah, because that's if the, a good one. If the league itself, uh, you know, gets invested in the spitballers, oh, namely Andy be... Holloway of the spitballers. Um, you know, there's going to be some perks. I'm going to be on the field. I'm going to be hanging out in the owner's booths. I'm going to be... It's, just, it's Andy on TV. Have you ever heard of this thing called the NFL? <laughs> That's all the ad reads. They're all about discovery. Let me discovery. tell you about it. It's, it's not about go watch it. It's about teaching you what it is. I love his, educational. I, I, I love his picks. His picks are Hawaii. It's Hawaii. You're already in. <laughs> uh, it's it's the NFL. We play football. You know it. You're already in. Uh, and That's Apple. Right. You've got it in your pocket. <laughs> Apple, you've got it in your pocket. That's their <laughs> that's their tagline. Get a credit card. Um, well good. Then I'm going to go I'm going to go pure uh, indulgence here. And Baskin uh, Robbins. Oh no. I was waiting for oh, I was no. waiting for an ice cream. When he said I'm going to stay true to myself, I assumed it was an ice cream brand. I'm pivoting coming. to Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Wait, well, before you, you, I'll give you a chance. Are you a Baskin Robbins guy or a Oh, I'm, I'm all about Baskin Robbins. You're Baskin good. Robbins? Yeah, yeah. A cold Stone's good, but it will kill you. It'll qu kill you oh, quick. Yeah. In a I good mean, way. I will die slower with Baskin Robbins 31 different ways. Um, I'm pivoting to Baskin Robbins. <laughs> That's the best pick you've ever come up with. I don't know what I was thinking, possibly going away from that. So Baskin Robbins, and I will do... Um, Man, being able to walk in there, oh, you I won't be grabbed, walking for a long time. Say you, you should have grabbed Peloton while you were at it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, back to you, Jason. I'll share the one that has the uh, the song that I wanted, but yeah, uh, right. we'll do that at the end. And I'll share the pick that would have gotten me more votes was cool, but I didn't get enough cool product with it uh, at the end as well. But my fourth pick was on lockdown from before this episode started. Uh, you want to know what Chipotle doesn't do well? Dessert. Mm -hmm. But Hostess, Hostess oh, does yes. just oh yes. fine. Yes. Box yes, up for them you, apple man. pies and give me all the little. Yes. Oh, give, I mean, Hostess is. Uh, <laughs> Jason's got Chipotle, unlimited <laughs> Chipotle and Hostess. That's Wait, right. This is the shortest living I'm I'm going to need one more round for a bidet. Um, <laughs> but outside of that. Hostess and Chipotle oh. gold cards, unlimited supply. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Am, well, you're a genius. Look, I'm incredibly jealous of the gold card. That is like, it, it, that's been the dream. That, I mean, that's the dream of, of any kid that loves fast food. Just unlimited. Whenever you walk, you're like, do you know who I am? Make gold me another card. bowl. Make me another yeah. bowl. <laughs> I'm probably just going to throw it in the garbage. Make, make two. You, one for me, one for your garbage. <laughs> I, I'm I'm really proud of us that in this fourth round we're all we're staying true to who we are. Andy took the ice cream, Jason got the hostess. I'm taking Fender, baby. Give me, oh. give, me give me unlimited. My like my favorite That's cool. instrument. That would be my really favorite cool. instrument I have is my Fender, uh, my my Fender jazz bass. It's an, a Fender American made jazz bass. It is it is the best uh, musical piece of musical equipment I have. And if they could just deck me out with like. Some strats and some tellies. And just, that would be unbelievable to get free instruments I to like say it. that I play them. I that's love a, it. That's a great pick. That's a great pick. Um, I had right. a, go ahead. Andy, what was your uh, what was your, your Well, I had a, I had a number of, of backup ones. Um, I thought, you know, Pepsi. I thought about going Pepsi. Mm. Thought about going like a pizza association. 
You know what Ooh. I mean? Like, so a little bit charitable, but I want free pizza forever. Sure. Uh, but the the theme We've song was Pepsi. the theme song was literally Gillette because I wanted oh. to sing. I wanted to sing the best a man can get. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> like, I'll do the ad, but on one and, stipulation. On what? This is the I ad. sing. I, I sing the jingle. I also had Big Pharma in there, so. Uh, <laughs> I just figured they they might not have the best products, but they're packing heat on that check. I'll I'll take a uh, big farm and big tobacco, please. Yeah, yeah throw in Wall Street. <laughs> I got Wall Street. Yeah, all right. All Wall right, Jason. Street sponsoring my podcast. Um, the the one that I was close to taking over Chipotle was Netflix. I mean, that mm. as far as a brand and yeah, life, it's cool, but. What's but it, Netflix? Thirteen dollars a month. <laughs> exactly. Like one hundred percent. It's like oh, they, we're gonna they comp already give you. they already give me unlimited product. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just it just costs a little bit. The All right. the, the two I had left, I had Bose speakers. I like okay. a good oh, yeah. like a oh, good yeah. audio experience. And the 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 one where it was like, do I take PlayStation because it's cool, or do I take this one? Postmates, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That would be Wow. It would be something else if every day you had $100 on Postmates. Oh, man. When all you That's can hamburger is think L-I-V-I-N. about. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> what did you say? When all you can hamburger, hamburger, when all is, you can think hamburger is thinking about Postmates. <laughs> all right. I think that does it. What did we learn today? I learned. Oh, go ahead. I learned that uh, Jeremy's insane laziness and unpreparedness um caused us to have to push his new segment back a week and there's no there's clearly only the only reason that that would ever happen is nothing to do with the three of us or anything right. that we would Our do wrong schedule. Yes. Yes. uh it's just uh owl just being mm-hmm. being yeah, a just, bum just being owl it's Thank a you. cliche but dropping the ball is kind of what happened yeah. um but maybe it'll be next week we'll see we'll see if we can get it together I learned that Jason put a floor in. I didn't know that. Yeah. Still not sure I believe it after the light came on and he was lit up as being a liar. I learned that there are actually people out there that go suck shoe. Oh, no. There's at least one psycho. psycho. (laughs) All right. That does it for today's episode of the Spitballers Podcast. Thank you for all the kind reviews. We do read them and they're, they're oh so sweet. Five star reviews, especially. Thank That's you for right. supporting the podcast. Hey, stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.